What is a habit? You might have worked your way through dozens of old habits today already, before reading this book. You didn't have to really think about any of these activities. The specific way you went about brushing your teeth, making coffee, checking your emails. Sure, the first time you ever performed one of these habits, you probably had to pay full and focused attention. But after hundreds or even thousands of times repeating the same routines, you now complete them on autopilot. They are, in other words, habitual. Many of us think of habits in terms of behavior. We try to eliminate bad habits or encourage better ones by using sheer force of willpower. We tend to think of habits as not sticking simply because we're lazy or we're just not trying hard enough. But the fact is that habits are the external behavioral manifestations of internal brain processes, which have very little to do with willpower. Habits are there for a reason. They are your brain's shortcuts through life, or what are called heuristics, mental models used to process the familiar and expected patterns of experience. Habits help us save time and energy. If we can do something automatically and without thinking too hard about it, we save our attention for the truly difficult things. But habits are not just behaviors. They are an external expression of a physical process unfolding in your brain. The old saying goes, neurons that fire together, wire together. This essentially means that when your brain repeats the same patterns over and over again, the neurons responsible are physically and literally wired in a fixed way. Your habit is physiologically programmed into your brain. Psychologists and neurologists have long understood that there exists a certain neural correlate to our everyday behavior and that our fixed and routine habits actually map onto similarly fixed physiological structures in the brain. Understanding exactly how and why habits form in the brain puts us in the best possible position to make real changes. Once we can see how the brain's physiology and biochemistry connects seamlessly to our behavior, we can look with fresh eyes at our actions and the accompanying psychology. We can more effectively change ourselves whether we want to quit smoking or wake up earlier or get out of the habit of negative self-talk. Your brain's superpower of neuroplasticity. Your brain possesses a truly marvelous characteristic called neuroplasticity. You were not born with a fully functional brain, but rather with the hardware and ability to learn, which then allowed your brain to form connections, to grow, and to acquire knowledge. The neuroplastic brain is one that can change. It's the reason you were able to develop bad habits in the first place, but it's also the reason you'll be able to break them and form new, more beneficial habits. People are capable of behavioral change, and the brain is capable of physiological change to support it. Let's take a closer look. We'll consider habits in terms of the famous three-part habit loop outlined in Charles Duhigg's book, The Power of Habit.